Good Friday morning, everybody. TGIF, Friday, September 30th, 2016. The last, the last day in September for this show, Talking Fitchburg. Good morning, everybody. Jeremy Crosby here alongside Preston Schmidt and the main. No, you are the main man. I always call you the main man. man. That's me. Today I'm going to switch it up. (laughs) The man with the plan, Mr. Bamlet, Andrew Bamlet. Hello. There it is. Or as we like to call Bamlet. How are we doing this morning back there? Oh, we're doing. Doing? Move oh, on. yeah. I know out here we're doing just fine. Yep. Air's just right. It's not too warm, yeah, not too hot. It's pretty good in here. Outside's a little dark today, though. When just I came... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where the wind's going. Uh, There's a little bit of a breeze, I yeah, guess. There is. Jeez. Well, welcome back. Uh, glad to have you back on the show today. Yes. Well, your travels yesterday went well. They did. They were smooth. That's good. Went through a lot of construction, but no delays. Very good. Yeah, it was, I was leaving here uh, on the interstate. They were, it was kind of over by South or uh, East Town Mall on the interstate. In the yes. middle lane, there was a FedEx oh. truck that rear-ed somebody. So oh. they, but they shut down the middle lane. Oh. Yeah. Like, it was yep. crazy. That's, yeah. was like, I've seen that on the Beltline before. It's, they it's had the flares and hard. Uh, <laughs> you know, one yeah. time I was behind a FedEx truck, and it decided it wanted to, to back up. And it just reversed straight into my car. <laughs> what? I, I just sitting there beeping at it. And the guy's like, Well, you didn't see my reverse lights? And I was like, Well, yeah, but. You didn't see me? You just me? came on back. You, you just came back. Like, you didn't see me? So, like, I wow. can't move. I don't know you. what's going on with those FedEx trucks. A lot of blind spots, I guess. Apparently, I Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, the vehicle that it hit, though, it blew out the back window. Oh, I'm minivan. Sure. Like, it was. Slammed it. It's crazy. No good. Hopefully no good. No injuries. Yeah. All right. Well, I do. Th- this morning, there's kind of. Overnight breaking news Uh-oh. kind of broke yesterday. There was theor- theories out there, but okay. uh, we now know what the Super Bowl performance is going to be. Oh, oh! You guys about heard about this? I'm I sure. Haven't. No, I haven't. You haven't? No. no. All right, I haven't. It's official, uh, at least according to multiple news sources. Okay. <laughs> the headliner is <laughs> Lady Gaga. I oh. was gonna say it too. I was gonna say Lady Gaga, and I, I honestly haven't looked. Seems like a logical choice. It does. Seems it sounds like they're she'll release a new album wow. uh, in October here, and okay. uh, you know. Yeah, I'm good with this. I'm okay with this. She's a she's a show person. She's very, uh, you know, she's got a lot of flair going on. She so does have a lot of flair. We'll see what yeah. she brings. We'll see. It's gonna be awesome. Who was it last year? Last year, was that Bruno Mar- no, no, that, that was, was two years. years. It I wasn't Beyonce, think, was it? Eh, was that no. two years or that three, was three years? The, ago. the, the time flies. I don't know. That Bruno, last year was a band, I thought. Bruno Mars last year, two right. years ago, was awesome, though. I Bruno have to Mars say, was good. I've watched that many times. In fact, when my wife and I sometimes we watch YouTube and put it up. I'll put that one up, and she's like, "Not yeah. again." Like, <laughs> I just, I thought it was such a great performance. Yeah. There you go. Hey. So anyway, all right. Uh, that is the overnight breaking news. So I thought I'd cool. just sneak that in there yeah, like this it. morning. Sure, so, all right. Uh, today on Talking Fitchburg, we're going to update you on a few things uh, happened last night. At Anton Drive Open House. We'll bring you some info on that, both in uh, headlines and a little bit later in our guest segment. In the digest, it's just in case you missed it today. Plus. We have really kept this under wraps, but Close. next week, guys, yeah, is our one year anniversary. One year, boom, of the show. O- October fifth was the first day that we launched the wow. show. So uh, that's crazy. We've to got think some about stuff in store, and I've got a little video to year. play. I know. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's funny to watch from the beginning. To I to where we could are imagine. Here. The first day was kind of it was interesting. Rough. It was first, rough. First very was dark. Rough. Very you dark. Know? We hadn't, we hadn't sanded off all the, <laughs> the edges yet. Well, and, and for everyone to know, that's the day one, our switcher, our main video switcher that I run, died yeah. that day. Nothing so, like game time decisions. Nothing, yeah. That's right. You know what they're always talking about at the end of the games? Adversity, right? Mm-hmm. Play through it. Play through the pain. So, so uh, we did. Any, yeah, either way, definitely. we've got that coming up. Uh, <laughs> we'll show you some uh, video. And next week, we've got a whole bunch of fun things planned, So, including the big anniversary show on October 5th. So you're going to want to uh, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. But first, let's kick and get into headlines. And uh, we start with last night, Anton Drive public study meeting was held over at Fire Station number 2 last night. A very big crowd and uh, kind of learning about the uh, study. Take a look. One of the objectives of this plan is to, over time, transition to a little bit more of an urban feel, meaning the buildings coming a little closer to the street, meaning walking through the neighbor through this area is going to be easier because there will be more sidewalks within the planning area and more pleasant. 
um, and that there will be um, relatively higher intensity development, meaning more, more happening here. There you go. Uh, City of Fitchburg, along with MSA Professional Services, uh, provided feedback on the planning study on Anton Drive neighborhood. Plenty of, uh, as you can see, the public uh, neighborhood made it out there to see the plan. Uh, I want to remind you that you can catch this full meeting. We'll get it up uh, starting next week uh, so you can watch the full uh, recap of this uh, over on our Gov channel, channel F3. Check it on out. Press there here. you go. All right, public hearing on the mayor's proposed budget is going to be on October 11th at 7.30 p.m. The Common Council meeting will hold a public hearing uh, in the Pittsburgh City Halls regarding the budget, so you can uh, obviously watch that here on FACT TV, or you can show on up at 7.30 here, City Hall. Check it out. Fantastic. All right, Verona Area School District's hosting uh, some free parenting classes coming up again. They did this last year as well. It's pretty mm -hmm. cool. So uh, it's a three-week parenting class offered by the school district. Join us for fun and interactive study on the nature at heart approach, uh, uh, methodology, and techniques. Woo, I need to go back to school. Uh, this is going to be uh, uh, at Stoner Prairie Elementary School, LMC. Uh, it's uh, 6 to 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday, October 18th, 25th, and November uh, 1st. Jeez. Uh, you can buy an optional book as well for $20. Uh, there's financial assistance available for that. And uh, the classes, if you want to find out more information, you can go ahead and check it out on mm -hmm. the website of the Verona Area School District. Uh, we'll bring you up more info as it gets closer. Very good. Do you need an ID to vote? Answer, yes. Bring it daily to double. the ballot. Uh, yeah, daily double. Uh, so the, the DMV, they are having some Saturday hours. So here you go. The Wisconsin Division of Motor Vehicles Service Centers continue to offer Saturday hours at their busiest locations. So if you're in uh, Milwaukee Northwest, Milwaukee uh, Southwest, Madison East, Madison Odana, La Crosse, Eau Claire, Wausau, and Appleton, these DMZ uh, service centers are open Saturdays from 8.30 to 12 p.m. So 8.30 a.m. to noon. Uh, so show on up, get your ID, you will need it to vote. And again, please do vote, it's important. So there you go. Awesome. Uh, one Sky, One World Kite Festival happens this weekend. It happens uh, tomorrow, October 1st. Activities are between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. and include many beautiful kites flown by regional kite flyers, banners, ground displays, and wind thingies. <laughs> wind thingies. Yep. <laughs> Uh, kite making for kids will be 1 to 2 p.m. and uh, sky surprises and bird gliders that drop from the sky. Bring your kites, friends, picnic, lunch, McKee Farms Park, 5700 Chapel Valley Road. Check it out. We'll have a camera crew out there as well, so uh, we'll bring you the high flying action right here on Talking Fitchburg Monday. Yep, it's cool. They always have really neat, mm -hmm. unique kites out there, too. Some special ones. They had a big whale one year. It was awesome. It's like 40 feet. Okay, sorry. I digress. <laughs> 2016 feet. Walk to End Alzheimer's. This is coming up on Sunday, October 2nd. If you want to uh, attend this, registration is at 7.30 a.m. Ceremony begins at 9 a.m. and then the walk will begin at 9.30. It's a two-mile walk and this is at James Madison Memorial High School. Uh, so make sure you check that out. It's a good cause and a good event. So check it out. Hey, I believe uh is Andy Miller's walking in that yep. uh, this weekend from uh, Senior Center, so you can check it out. All right, last but not least, uh, we're going to remind you, because uh, we haven't talked about it in a while, that the community, community meals are still happening at the Badger Prairie Needs Network. It happens on Saturdays. Uh, the Prairie Kitchen uh, serves meals uh, every Saturday in the community room. It's free, no reservations required. Usually, the meal usually includes soup and salad, a pasta, rice, chicken, pork, or beef dish, vegetarian, vegan selection, bread, dessert, and drink, plus camaraderie. Plus camaraderie. Mm -hmm. So check it on out, uh, or if you want to volunteer, you know, you can head over to the website or uh, email kitchen at bpnn.org or call the number, right and there. they'll get you signed up. So pretty cool. I just yeah. feel like we hadn't talked about it in forever. No, so that's a good thing. There you go. All right, that is your headlines for this morning. Coming up next, we're going to open up the old digest. Give you just in case you missed it. Plus a look into next week's anniversary show right here at Doug Fitchburg.